Hi guys and Tish Dele, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Sonam. This is Jigmi. And today we're here to unbox a brand new 3D printer. So for those that don't know what a 3D printer is or are not familiar with it, I think Jigmi here is best fit to explain to us what a 3D printer is. Well, I'm not sure about the best part, but um, I'll try. So a 3D printer is a it's a device that prints a three-dimensional solid object and the process is called additive manufacturing. What it means is an uh, object is actually being produced uh, la layer by layer or built layer by layer. Uh, there are other means of 3D printing um, which I really don't want to get into right now because it's a huge topic and uh, maybe I'll cover them in later videos. So this printer we actually um, had ordered it about two months prior and we received it just recently like last week. Um, I think that the delay in the shipment had to do a lot with the pandemic and it actually got, it took us I think like two weeks to get it approved for shipment and then once it shipped it took like about a month to get it here and it came from I think a city in Well this uh, printer actually was shipped all the way from the city called Prague in yeah. Czech Republic and the name of the company is Prusa uh, it's a very well known 3D printer company throughout the world and there's really no need for me to get into its detail and history it's all out there on the net yeah so um, what I'm curious about or what I was curious to know at first was I mean knowing what a 3D printer does like I just wanted to understand how you can use it like personally you know at home because I felt like it was more industrialized and for businesses so like what can we do with the 3d printer well you can do a lot of things with 3d printer um, uh, it can be used in like home decor like mechanical attachments prototypes I've even seen um, houses being built with 3d printer uh, in fact I have this uh, mask printed by one of my co-workers at work he gave it to me. This is 3D printed mask. Uh, it's actually comprised of three pieces. Uh, you see this yellow piece right there. It snaps right on, and boom. You know, it fits perfectly. So something like this, you can print it with 3D printing. And uh, <clears throat> speaking of home decor, I know you have worked or interned at this place called Yadro. Um, I know that you guys make like sculpture and all that, but do you see 3D printer being used or can assist in any sort of that work? Um, I think it can because Yadro, they um, specialize in making art decors and home decors, decorative pieces for your home or your office. Um, but what they are known for is making it in pure porcelain. So everything that they um, create or manufacture is made out of porcelain, like this little beetle over here. So this little guy is made out of all porcelain inside, but then the legs and the wings are made out of metal. So I think um, 3D printing can maybe assist Yadro in possibly building a prototype for something like this in like the early design phases. And then once they like it, they can go forth with it. So maybe 3D printing can be used for that, but not for actually selling it on shelves because that's what like... Yeah. The company is known for this. This is their signature um, material that they use, which differentiates them. So why did you get a 3D printer? Um, well, I studied mechanical engineering back in school. I currently work for MEP Consultant. Uh, we strictly do building code related designs. So I'm, I miss the manufacturing side of the engineering, you know. Although. 3D printing isn't considered as conventional manufacturing process, but it's getting there. And not just that, I happen to have some small little ideas at times. Uh, not just me, I've seen my friends having uh, with great ideas, but those get, never get carried on. Um, so um, I've actually jotted down my, uh, my ideas, I made sketches, but you know, my, at the end my focus gets deviated. So uh, the main reason I think is we lack motivation and we, or also we, we don't have proper guidance in our society. Getting ideas to shelves or life, it's like uh, getting, trying to get six pack apps. Uh, so it requires a lot of work, discipline, dietary education and whatnot. 
Similarly, getting ideas to shell requires all the good words I just mentioned. This right here, 3D printer, is my motivation. Now I don't have any excuses whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. so I've seen him um, work or just be on his computer for hours and hours after work. And I'm wondering like what he's working on. So he'll just be making designs for things such as like, what do you call it, like patches or even something related to soccer or keychains. So he really has um, a lot of interest in like creativity and design side, aside from what he does for a living. Oh, um, yeah, so I think this definitely can help him bring his um, designs to life and really give him that last push that he needs to just, you know, yeah. go through with his creations. Like with your ideas, you can do a lot of things. You can actually pattern your ideas. Uh, if not, you can do PPA, which is is similar to pattern, but it's called provisional pattern, pattern application. Mm -hmm. You get like a year uh, to work on your ideas. And that year, you, no one can actually steal your idea, no. And you get that patent yeah, pending. Like a year leeway for you yeah, to just yeah. create. The follow-up question to that would be, what would be your first official project? Well, my first project is not something I wanted to do, but it's something that, I was for, uh, that I'm forced to do because someone actually broke my side mirror. And right now, it's held uh, by two wall angle brackets. And it it uh, did the job, but but still it looks ugly. You know, it's aesthetically it's not that pleasing. You guys probably have seen it in my Woodstock vlog, um, where I kind of showed what happened to the side mirror and how he kind of attached yeah. it back, which is pretty. So I'm gonna cool. print something uh, that's more appealing and also does the job. Yeah, that's that's gonna be my first project. And you guys are actually going to be able to see it at the by the end of this vlog. So we're just starting out right now, and once we finish the vlog, um, you'll you'll be able to see the first official product that he had made from his with his 3D printer. So keep watching. And do you have anything else to add? Um, by the way, you don't have to be an engineer to own a 3D printer. That's all I gotta say. And that is it for our intro. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the building and unboxing. So please do keep watching. Mm -hmm. So this is the box and these two books came along with it. One of these is assembly instruction and the other one is the handbook. So the assembly instruction or the manual is pretty thick and it basically tells you step-by-step -step instruction on, on how to install this. And the handbook on the other hand is um, it basically tells you what you should do or should not when setting this thing up and has some like programming instruction as well. So yeah. Let's see. And I'm going to begin with uh, unboxing this 3D printer and uh, keep watching. In the middle of building it up. This is what we have so far. How is it going? Not bad. It's pretty good. This falls under the Y axis section. So. The easy part. Pretty straightforward. Finally, Y axis is done.
be done with the hardest part, and uh, which involved all the wiring and the uh, e-access motor. And uh, now, yeah, now I'm on to the remaining parts, which should be pretty straightforward. Just have to like you know, connect all the uh, uh, wires to the uh, designated PCB board, and I'll show you guys as I go. So, so, the Almost done. Uh, working on the cable management side. Part. Mm. Cable be, management? Yeah. Uh -huh. Four years. Whoa. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design something uh, and 3D print it and then use that as an attachment to attach the side mirror with this uh, pod. So what I have with me is a caliper. Uh, this is meant for measurement. You can also use this as a to use this as a weapon. Um, so I'm gonna measure certain parameters and we'll go from there. Close to him. Three inches. Three inches, two inches. Two inches. This is the design I came up with a simple angle bracket with the rip support. I used Autodesk Inventor as a software to design this. So if I reverse the steps, it's pretty apparent how I designed this. It took me only 15 minutes. The neat thing about this software is that you can do a stress strain analysis simulating the real world scenario. Here's just a quick example. For information, I won't be doing an actual simulation for this because the time is of the essence now. Once I'm done with the design, I import the STL file into Prusa's software called Slicer. I love its user interface, very straightforward. With few setting options, it'll show you how the part will be printed and even tells you how long the part will take to be printed. Once I'm done, I hit the export G-code. G-code is simply a computer language developed by MIT. 
it's widely used in manufacturing industry. In this case, it controls the movement of stepper motors. Voila! As you can see, I'm finally done with my print. The print came out really nice. It has some burrs, which is completely normal. I meant it to use deburring tools to clear those. Now, let's put it to use. Sadly, it broke, but it was a good try. It still holds though. Design that he printed for the side mirror, but unfortunately, it broke. But that's okay. We're gonna try to make another one and see if that's gonna be a success. But he happens to know why that happened, and you're gonna make another one, right? Yeah, later. But for now, Good. Metal is always good old metal holders. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Oh, and old. <laughs> that thing right there. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Go.